Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the chamber. I'm your host, Andre Rocks, Mr. Independent. And of course, you are tuned in to either KYBN Radio, the World Advantage Network, Real People Talk Radio, WNIA, or Hip Hop News Source Radio, that's HHNSRadio.com. I want to thank everybody for tuning in today. Um, You guys know me. I mean, we've been on air now for... Four and a half, uh, no, not four and a half, but just over four years now. And um, I always try to get to the root of things. I always try and get to where things started because I don't believe that you can correct any issue without first getting to the heart of it. So I look at this, uh, this Trump situation and... Of course, you know, part of me blames Donald Trump for the increase in bigotry and hatred across this nation. Uh, uh, he blames Donald Trump for the increase in ignorance. Uh, the, the fact that people uh, will question uh, unshakable facts at this point. But then I have to I have to really dig to the root of it because it's not really Donald Trump's fault. You're always going to have in any situation. In any society, you're always going to have, for lack of a, a better term, nut jobs. Okay, I grew up in, in, in a neighborhood. There was this guy named Benny used to walk around. He tried to sell me a comb once. Okay, he was a nut job. But there's a difference between having a nut job and then having a whole group of people following that nut job. It would be like if, 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 if the, the crackhead Benny, if all of a sudden, you know, people started following him and saying, hey, this is this guy should be the mayor of my town and all of that. That's crazy. And I can't look at Benny as being the source of the problem. I have to ask myself, what caused all of these people to lose their minds and follow? This maniac. So I have to ask myself, what caused all of the, the Trump supporters out there to lose their minds and follow this maniac, almost giving him this messianic quality? Because at, at this point, you have to look at his supporters and say, why are they... Are, 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 are they treating this man as if he is the Messiah? Why are they treating this man as if there is absolutely nothing he can do wrong? I watched Republicans essentially see a clear case of bribery. And completely dismiss it as to say, it's not wrong because Donald Trump did it. And we have to ask ourselves, well, first of all, I've, I've been watching them be asked, well, what could Donald Trump do that you would be willing to impeach? And most of them said nothing. Meaning that they have placed him above the law, above the rules that govern every other human being. Well, that those those are the, the, the qualities that we place to whatever messianic figure we choose to worship, whether it be God, Allah, Buddha, uh, 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 whatever. And I had to ask myself, what made these people create essentially a governmental messiah out of this man? My focus, first of all, started out with the blacks for Trump. And I, 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 me personally, at first, I could not understand how a black person could support Donald Trump, given his history of racism, racial provocation, bigotry. But he did have his blacks for Trump convention in Atlanta, Georgia, a week ago. And there, it, it was pretty full. I had to ask myself, well, what made them decide that Donald Trump was 
their man. Because Donald Trump is enjoying almost 10% support in the black community, which is insane to me. One out of 10 black people support this man. And then I had to think about it. Nineteen thirty six to nineteen seventy six. The United States government conducted what was called the Tuskegee experiment. They intentionally injected African Americans with syphilis and allowed them to go untreated for decades simply to study the results. And they lied about it. Irreparable damage. The United States government has lied about injecting crack cocaine into the cities of, of Los Angeles and Oakland, California. We found out in 2005 that this was the case. Yet we were called conspiracy theorists for saying that it happened before then. We can go, there's a whole myriad of different issues. But what resonates with the black voter is that Donald Trump continues to tell them the news is lying to you. The news is, 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 is telling you things that aren't true. And to the black voter, that's been true all their lives. That resonates. And then for the ill-educated black voter who can't see through the facade, he then says, I'm, cre <coughs> excuse me, I'm creating jobs for you. Which is a lie, by the way. But that's what gets them to follow. See, this is what, this is the result of a, 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 a conditioning Of communities for generations. It's not only the black voter. You take the, the white voter. Now he was able to tap into them. For the same reason that Adolf Hitler was able to tap into the white German voter. Whites feel oppressed now because the playing field is finally being equalized. It's not there. We are far way away from it. But it's getting closer. They're not in charge without question anymore. And for somebody who has been in charge without question for generations... taking that away feels oppressive and Trump told them I'll put you back in charge this is the result of the United States of America elevating one racial group over another to begin with and then making that the norm You know, I, I, I got to take you guys to a commercial break. I, I'm, I'm just getting warmed up here. We'll be right back. Stay tuned.